Hello everyone, welcome to another Blender tutorial. In this video we shall be going over texturing and also uh, modeling. Now when I say modeling I mean I don't mean you know using models like for Rocket League, like the Rocket League cars or assets, balls, whatever. Um for modeling I mean using a website where you can download assets and use to improve the look of your scene or add to the look of your scene. Um, and for texturing, we'll be making the objects ourselves and then just having the textures downloaded and then using them. So our goal for, or my goal for this video will be to use the Rocket League car here, the Octane, which was, which has been set up from a <coughs> previous video. Um, I shall be making sort of a, a desert scene um, with a road and using a downloaded uh, file or object. So before we begin, there's a there's one thing you would need to do, which will help tremendously, uh, and that is enabling a feature within Blender. So if you go to Edit, Preferences, come down to Add-ons, and then Search. You want Node, search for Node, and you want Node Wrangler. So if you uh, check that box, click Refresh, you're good to go. So let me turn on my screen, please. Cool. So the first thing we're going to be doing is making a road. And then we should be making like a, a sandy plane. Or I suppose we can make the sandy plane first as we made the, uh, as we enabled those options. So let's do that. Uh, so we can go to add plane. Come down to the top view. And basically, we want to scale the absolute fuck out of this. Um, so yeah, I suppose that that'd be enough. Four hundred. <laughs> hmm, maybe not so much then. <laughs> one hundred. We'll go. We'll go one hundred. There we go. So I'm going to move this. Whoa, what's going on here? I'm going to move this all the way back here. Uh, about here the reason i'm doing that is because i want the road to be along this edge so what i'm going to do i'm going to rename this plane to sand now we're going to add another mesh uh, bring it to about there and just scale that we can use the same scale measurement there. Whoops, wrong one onto the Y. There we go. And we're going to bring it across. We don't want this too big. Cool. And now I should call this one road. Cool. So let's start with the, the sand asset. This one is uh, generated within Blender. It's easy to make. So we're going to click, click on our sand plane, come into shading and click new. So with this node wrangler, uh, does my screen keys work in here? They're enabled. They're not working. Let me come into layout and I shall split. Uh, let's use this window as we don't use it. Uh, shader editor. There we go. So what this Node Wrangler does, if you click on your BSDF and press, is it Control T? There we go, Control T. This is pretty much everything we're going to be using. We're not going to be using the image texture. Uh, we'll be using something else. So this gives you the texture coordinate and a mapping node. We're going to switch uh, instead of using UV, we're going to use generated. And now we're going to go shift A, add a noise. 
uh, texture and connect those together. And we also, because this is going to be sand, we want it quite, you know, we want a, uh, a bump map to it. We're going to be adding a bump node. So that factor can then go into the height. And then we shall connect that all together in the normal. So, so now that we have this set up, what we're going to do is now set everything to where it looks like sand. So we want our roughness. We want this to be quite rough. So if we increase that and it goes up to one, so let's increase it to about here. The scale, this is where everything starts to come together. Let's increase the distance as well, just a bit. As I have quite a big plane, which I actually might reduce. <laughs> I think I went a bit OTT with that. Let's reduce this to about 70. Either way. Bring that down. There we go. That looks a bit better. So as we increase our scale, you can see we get a lot more of it everywhere. Really, this wants to be in the hundreds, no matter how big your uh, plane is. So let's just keep going and going and going. Up there should be okay. Your detail. As you can see, this looks more like waves, um, like ripples of an ocean. If we increase the detail, now it looks more grainy. And then the roughness is obviously the roughness. So I think that's pretty much it. We can probably adjust the scale a bit more, give it a bit more detail. No, we're at max detail. Uh, so now we're going to give it an orangey color. And it looks a bit, a bit shitty. So what we're going to do is drag our factor and we're going to plug it into the roughness of our BSDF. Now that hasn't done too much, but that also controls the roughness of the texture itself. So rather than having also, blah, blah, blah. so also you have the generated roughness. It also controls the roughness of the material. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> I know what I want to say, but I don't know how to say it. <laughs> um, so yeah, so then you can use your um, your BSDF to sort of adjust it how how you want to look. Uh, we'll give it a bit of metallic look to it, but I'm I'm happy with that. So I'm going to drop my card down. Whoops, too far. Onto the sand, like that. Maybe up a bit more. About there. There we go. I'm happy with that. So there's our sand. Pretty pretty easy to uh, to make. Now we come onto the road, and this is the first. This is where we're going to be downloading our first um, texture. What we have here. Uh, this CG bookcase, this is a an amazing place for for all your textures that you could possibly use. They got a whole archive, fucking thousands, well not thousands, but they got a lot. And one of the ones they do is road. And this is what we're going to be using. And they got up to 4K as well, so super high resolution. Um, link to this site will be in the description down below. Now I've already downloaded a uh, a few from this site. Um, I've used this before. Is it here? Steam textures. Here we go. Um, so yeah, so I've got some some roads. Uh, let's use the single lane. So we can use the single lane clean uh, texture pack. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna click on our road in Blender. Give it a new material. Click the BSDF. Control Shift and T. That now open up. Uh, that opens up our browser. 
So I'm going to go to desktop car. Shit. Not design ideas. Decal textures? No. What did I call it? Skin textures. This one. And we want road and single lane clean. And now we select all of them. Just hold down left click, select all of them. Uh, what I should say before we before we do that, when you download any, before, the way this site used to work is that you would need to download each uh, each texture itself. Now, just click on your texture that you want, select the resolution, click download, and it will download to a zip file. It's that, it's that simple. So now I've got all of them selected. Principal texture setup. Wait for this little pathway to clear. And there we go. That has now set everything to where it needs to be. Let me move this up here. Now, it looks like utter shit, <laughs> but that's where our mapping comes in. So what we want to do is increase the scale. And as I increase it, you can see which direction we're moving in from the uh, from the image itself. So I want to do this. It looks like I need to flip the, let's do, Is this the way? There we go. There we go. And now if we zoom in, let's put this about here. Um, so now, as you can see, we've adjusted our scale. So I've now got it at 25 times scale and minus one. And that looks pretty good. So we have our, uh, we can keep that as it was. There we go. Um, so yes, that's texturing. So what we're going to do now that we've added a texture to our road that we've made our sand what I'm going to do is make a, a little hut for the for the car so I'm gonna make a new collection and set that as our primary folder and now we're going to come into our own modeling so what I want is a mesh I want a cylinder by the way when you there are a few objects uh, or a few meshes that when you add them, you have this little bar down here. And if you want a high poly count, as I, if I zoom in, you can see these sort of uh, ridges. That's what this is, the vertices. So if I increase this number, it becomes a lot smoother. Uh, you don't really need to do that most of the time. Um, what you do is just right click shade smooth and it sort of gets rid of it um, but it also does the top as well so it, it's up to you if you want to increase your poly count or your vertices um, rather than doing a shade smooth what I will say is that if you don't do it when you import it as soon as you move you can't do it again <laughs> you can't bring up that menu again. It's, it stays down here as something else. So if you do want to adjust it, you have to do it as soon as you import it. So we have our... Actually, let's hide that for now. We have our tube. What I want to do is scale it down. Let's do... How's that look? A bit smaller. Looks okay. So we have our tube. I want to put this 
first one about here. I'm going to... How can we do this first? You know what, let's texture it first. So same as before, we've got our tube selected. I'm going to press new, click on the BSDF, control shift and T. Now I want uh, a metallic look to it. So I think I've got some here. Brush metal, no, metal tiles. Painted metal, let's give it a rusty look. So metal tiles, painted metal, rusty metal, select all. And as you can see, it's still a bit stretched. So we'll just increase the scale until it looks okay. Think about there. Cool. So now we have that. What we can do is add a modifier and array. So here we have our array. We got a count of two, which means basically the original and an additional one. If I was to do three, you have now three, four, and so on. So we, as we want a second one, we're now going to set our offset value to about here. So let's bring this forward a bit more. We can bring this back. There we go. So now we've got two of the same objects. So there's no copy pasting, moving it around, make sure everything's in line, blah, blah, blah. Now we're going to do another array. Uh, so we can minimize this one. So again, we want a count of two. We don't want an offset factor of X. So we're going to put that as zero. Instead, we're using our Y value. And there we have it. Four little posts for our little octane to uh, to sit in. Now we're going to add a roof. So again, we need a new plane. If something come to the side, extend it up. And what we want to do is scale out like that. Grab. Uh, you know what? Let's have some overhang on it. Let's do that and then put it on there like that. Uh, we also want to scout this way as well. Do a bit more. Like so. Perfect. Now that looks a bit shit. So what we're going to do is, again, the same as our road and these tubes. We're going to hit a new, click on the BSDF, Control Shift and T. This time I have a pack downloaded around aluminium. And we're going to drop that down. What we're going to do for this one is increase the bump and also the scale of this so let's whoops increase the scale like that and we'll copy that same value there and for this we want to increase bump like that it's not going to be too uh shown this uh this top, so it's not really that important. Oh, there we go. So, you know, it's not going to be that necessary. So there's our, our little hut, and actually what we can do is just drop this down a bit. Same with this. That. 
So we've got some shade for our car. Um, now let's add a camera. So add a camera. We can do a quick instance of it about here. Control shift, uh, sorry, control B, drag. So we have our camera set up ready. Um, what we're also going to do now, we'll adjust the camera in a second, but what we're going to do now is the same as our last tutorial. I'm going to come to create dynamic sky create and then in our world properties set this to dynamic one and then hello now come into here there we go uh so sky color blue ish horizon color whoa down a bit actually there we go um cloud density make it quite open show the clouds a bit uh you know what let's change this to cycles we get a better view of it then I'm happy with that and you know what we'll increase the value again to let's say two this time it's a bit too bright uh 1.25 that's better cool so i'm happy with that so when you come back into this view so we can adjust our camera we don't need that menu anymore Actually, I want a road in this as well. So let's come back. Something like this. And let's see how that looks in cycles. Pretty good. What we're going to do is remove our lights. Don't need those. So we have these set up. Now we're going to come on to downloading the assets. So this is the website, Turbo Squid. Uh, it is really good. There's some really good models. There's paid and free models on here. Um, as we're making like a, a desert scene, what I want to do is make a fan. Well, not make a fan, but look for a fan. Um, simply just to cool our car down on a hot day. Now, as you can, if I hover over them, you can see there's prices on here. But on the filter here, I want this to be free. And what we're looking for, as we hover over, it gives you file types. As we're working with Blender, you want either a blend file uh, OBJ, uh, FBX, or any individual file types. You don't want anything a program that uses a program like uh, 3DS, 3DS Max, or there's a is it 4D Cinema? Because um, they don't work with Blender. You want Blend files or OBJs, FBXs. Uh, so if I click on it, formats, FBX, OBJ. Uh, Blender, so 3D Studios you don't want, 3DS Max you don't want. I think there's another. I think it's 4D Cinema. I think something like that. Um, but yeah, I'm, we, we're going to use this. So I'm going to download that, and I have to sign in. BRB. Okay, so I've downloaded our asset. Here it is. Here I've just downloaded the uh, Blender file for it. I'm going to open it up. And here's our fan. Uh, transform. Oh, nice stuff in here. 
I'm not a fucking clue. Uh, so, select all. Control C. Go into our uh, our active folder, um, active Blender scene. Make a new folder. Control V. So here it is. Here now is everything parented together? No. Great. So let's parent everything together. Keep. There we go. And it actually looks quite nice with all textured up. Look at that. So what we want is to rotate this so it's facing our car. So that is minus 90. I then want to bring this down a bit, but before we level it off with the floor, I want to scale it up. So let's make it a bit bigger and then copy that to all scales. Big old industrial. <laughs> well, it's not industrial, is it? It's a table fan. Um, so let's now bring this down to the floor. Like so. So you could make a cable for it, or what we can do is leave it as it is. Uh, cables would be like a, a small cylinder. Uh, make it very small. Make it a little power box. Uh, which we could actually do, I suppose. So let's do cube. As this is a texturing tutorial. And let's make it. Cool. <clears throat> and here we have our, our scene already. So to add a bit more realism to this, what you can do is animate these blades. So if you spin them, uh, this is something you guys can look into. <clears throat> you can spin them, uh, set a rotation, and then add a motion blur on your camera. So if you then allow the play bar to go through, stop it at a certain point, you only need a few seconds in. Um, and then you can have like, the the action of it actually in motion, uh, which will look a bit better. Uh, what you can also do is then take your power box. You can add, make your own texture for it. Whack a dirty great, you know, high voltage <laughs> a sticker on there, <clears throat> and you can go from there. But thank you so much for watching. In the next video, it might be our last video, I'm, I'm not too sure, uh, we shall be covering the Octane. We shall be covering uh, Rocket League cars, how to make the painted part of the cars, the titanium white, the forest green. Uh, we shall be doing how to do that. Also, how to make the decal have a metallic effect or anodized effect and the body a matte effect if you're talking talking in terms of rocket league um so we'll be going over that that will be a bit of a longer tutorial um and then i think that will probably be it unless there's anything else <laughs> that uh that wants to be talked about or discussed but yes thank you so much for watching guys and i shall see you later peace out